You know that each day gets me closer to you This is a heavily requested video. This is for you, Camden Kingsley, who requested Mac Como glitch transition with sound effect, the one is Caribbean video. I've looked everywhere but can't find it. So I was flying home from Vancouver the other night and on the plane I was able to come up with this transition for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you head over to the selfie link in the description, you can go download Mac Como glitch effect transition for Final Cut Pro. And this includes two sound effects to use as well. So if you hit buy now, it's all for free still, and then hit download, we'll get a zip file. So go over to our downloads, we can unzip that. And then inside of this folder, we're going to have the transition and then sound effect one and sound effect two. For the transition to install it just like all the other transitions. I'm just gonna make a new finder window, go over to our admin file, go over to movies, motion templates, transitions, and then drag in MW glitch transition into your other transitions. I have it here and make sure inside there should be another folder that says MW glitch. I know there's a little bit of an error on my part on the last one. So then if you open that up, then everything should be in there. So that's the transition. Let's hop into Final Cut and I'll show it to you. So we have two clips arranged here. This is from Vancouver, the Vancouver Lookout of BC Place, which is their big arena that they have. So the shot goes from daylight and then sort of jumps to nighttime, which I thought was pretty cool, but on its own, it's a little... It's a little boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the glitch transition. Head over to transitions and go to MW glitch transition, MW glitch. So if we drag that on top, this is default one second. To be honest, I'd leave this at one second. Don't make it shorter or faster. It looks good as is. Everything was done with specific keyframes in mind based off of Matt Como's video. Um, so if you mess with those, it might not look as good. So with the transition, we have two sound effects to use as well. I'll play the first one for you guys. That one has like wind background noise and then jumps into the transition. And then this one is just a lot of noise, um, sort of like the static glitch. So I like to use the second sound effect, so we're going to drag that in about there. And as you can tell, the sound effect is a little bit short for the transition. So what I'm going to do is change the length of the sound effect by hitting Command R, opening up the Retime tool, and then I'm going to drag it to about 75%. If you go too low, then it's going to distort the pitch, so be careful with that. So I'll put that there. And I'll bump it over to the right a little bit. And then we're going to let this clip render through and then I'll show it to you. So that's how simple and easy the transition is, guys. I hope you guys like this. I know it's a bit of a unique transition to use, but I think it's pretty cool and something that's not really out there yet. If you guys like this video, then please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.